So this is the cool practical for separate science physics based on uh, a body emitting or absorbing infrared radiation and how color can affect that. So here we go, this is how we set this up. We've got three test tubes of water, white, black and red. Then we put the infrared lamp on as an emitter of infrared radiation. So the water will absorb infrared radiation and warm up. Now what we're thinking is the colour of the test tube may limit or increase the radiation absorbed from the lamp. And that is me almost knocking it over. So what we're going to do is we're going to record with a digital data logger the temperature of the water and we're going to see how that will increase over 20 minutes, recording uh, data points every two minutes. Here's another example where we've got two set up. Here's another example where we've got four. Now this one's slightly different. Here we are seeing how much radiation is emitted by hot water from different colours. So we've got green, silver, black and purple on that one. Back over here it's warming up over time. Uh, the energy from the lamp is being emitted and it is being absorbed by the water in the test tubes. And we know that the more energy that is absorbed, the warmer the material or the body or the substance becomes. Here are some of the others that we use. And this one here is still going. This is the difference between purple and red. And the data loggers. So we are seeing a temperature increase here. 26.2 degrees on the black test tube and only 17.5 on the white. So we can see that black is absorbing far more infrared radiation and therefore heating up the water more. In this example over here, there wasn't a huge difference. We thought that the silver one should emit less radiation than the others though. So to finish off, so as you can see, the black test tube went up to 34.7 degrees and the white one stayed at 20.2 degrees and therefore the black test tube absorbed far more radiation from the same source, the same power, uh, than the white one did. Therefore, we can conclude that dull black materials absorb more radiation, infrared radiation, than white materials. So in terms of global impact of this physics, we've got ice caps, we've got glaciers, and they all help to reflect the radiation from the sun back out into space. They absorb some, but ultimately it gets bounced back out. Less ice, less white surface, less reflection. So if I was an athlete um, in a hot country on a sunny day, I would hope that I'm not wearing a dark uniform because I'm going to absorb more infrared radiation. I'm going to get hotter more quickly. Also, the theory is that if your darker colors are out to dry, they're going to dry quicker than the lighter colors, even if it's exactly the same material. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped understand this core cool practical. Uh, if you've got any other questions, queries, uh, ideas you want me to experiment, Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will do my best. Peace.